Hey, it's Marco. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix if your Samsung portable SSD is showing disconnected and you can get app to work. So to show you an example, if I were to open this program and my uh, SSD is connected and you're getting this error, I'm going to show you what to do. But let me show that my solution works because if I plug it in, and let's refresh it you can see that it's been found and that i can access it this way update it do the settings or whatever so here are the steps you need to do so first what you want to do is open up your system settings or settings and then scroll down on privacy and security scroll down again <clears throat> and make sure that this is on App Store and identified developers. Now, if you are very lucky, you might get a message that said something like, uh, system software from developer Samsung Electronics was blocked from loading. And then what you need to do is click allow, that's on the right screen, on the right side of the screen, it will be somewhere here. Once you click allow, the app should work. But if this, if you're not that lucky and you didn't get this uh, easy way out like the most of us, here are the next steps what you need to do. So since I have already done this, I don't have it at the moment, but right over here, it will say enable system extensions. You need to click on enable system extensions and then it will ask you for your password and then you need to enter your password. From there, once you enter your password, you will get a pop-up screen that says something like to enable system extensions, you need to modify your security settings in the recovery environment. To do this, shut down your system, then press and hold the touch ID or power button to launch startup security utility, blah, blah, blah. So what you want to do is you want to click shut down. And once your Mac shuts down, I'm going to show you what to do next. So now what you want to do, you need to hold your power button. So you need to keep the touch ID button held down until you see loading startup options message. So let's hold it down and just keep, keep holding it. Don't let go. As you can see, it says continue holding, loading startup options, still hold the button. And now we can let go of the button. So now you have two options. You need to click on options, then click on continue, then it's going to load again. You need to give it a few seconds. Then you want to click on your username, then click on next. Now you need to enter your password. Click continue. From here, don't touch anything. Go up and click on utilities and then tap on Startup Security Utility, and that will open up this. Then you want to select your main disk that's powering the Mac OS, and then click on Unlock, then enter your password one more time. And once you have entered your password, you need to click on Security Policy right over here. Click on Security Policy, and make sure that you have enabled reduce security and allow user management of kernel extensions. So these two need to be turned on and then basically click OK. Once you click OK, it will ask you uh, for your password, enter your password and then click on OK again. And from here, it will take you back to this screen what you do next is you just exit this right over here and you go to the top left, click on the Apple thingy and click restart. Okay, so now that we are back and logged in, what we need to do next is go back to your system settings. Now again, go to privacy and security, scroll down. And now here it should say allow. So if you recall that I, made, that I said earlier, it should say like system software developer sounds and was blocked from loading. And here it will say allow. 
it will ask you to use your password you enter mm -hmm. your password okay. once that is done you click unlock and there's a chance that it will ask you for your password one more okay. time okay. then you click uh, ok again and then it's going to tell you a system is required before new system extension can be used i mean sorry a restart is required then what you want to do is just press on the restart button and now that your laptop has restarted you can turn your ssd in as i have at the moment boom as you see it's loaded and if i were to open up the app that's the fix once you turn on the app it will tell you welcome Samsung Portal SSD provides strong security protect your data, blah, blah. You can give your SSD a name. You can have the security mode off or on. And that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and leave a comment that this video helped you out. If you are still stuck on some steps or this didn't help you out, uh, let me know in the comments down below and we'll just chat and figure out what's stopping your laptop from making the app work. Anyways, that's it, bye.